welcome to my channel, Let's Pour with Patty. Pearl paints plus a marble equal eye candy. Be sure to like and subscribe. So yes, you heard me right. Today we are using Amsterdam Pearl Paints. We're going to just throw it down randomly. Our first color, Amsterdam Pearl Blue. All of these colors show up white until they dry and then the colors pop. Next color is Amsterdam Pearl Green. Amsterdam Pearl Violet. See how they look white now? Amsterdam Pearl Yellow. And last but not least, Amsterdam Pearl Red. Now these pearl paints always do much better on a dark background. And today we'll be using Amsterdam's Oxide Black for our base color. For my main tool, a marble. You'll see what we do with that a little bit later. But first, let's lay down our paint. My plan was to lay down each color in various different ways and patterns. To be honest, I can't even remember what color went down in what order and what pattern each color was used for. Because remember, these are Amsterdam Pearl Paints. They are known as Interference Paints, meaning they go on white, where you can't tell what color they are, and as they dry, then the colors come out and really pop. I call them magical. I'm here, it looks like I'm making a pizza. And this is my last color to put down. Now it's time for the marble. Place it in the middle. Move everything out of the way. And we will tilt. Notice my nifty little handles. I bought those on an Etsy store. Uh, I'll have to look it up and put it in my description on where it was store name that I bought them for or bought them from they either screw into the back of a canvas or on this application I just have them taped on because this is just a 14 inch 1 8 inch thick wooden canvas so it's actually very light Okay, back to the marble. So I'm trying to very slowly and methodically roll it through each of the dots that I laid down. I'm pretty sure those dots are the pearl yellow. And I just want to make sure that my marble hits each one very slowly. I absolutely love the design it is making and the smoothness of how the marble rolls comes out in the design that it creates. It's pretty cool. Okay, one less dot or puddle right there. I think I got it. And now... Just want to do a little cross cutting a couple of times, not too much. I didn't want it to get muddy. So when it rolled off there, I was fine. In order to tilt it without losing much of the design by it folding up underneath itself, I put down some more base paint, which will be used as a flow extender, which allows the paint to glide over top of it so that you don't lose your design. Paint will flow much easier 
uh, on a wet surface as opposed to on a dry surface. So if you cover it with paint, then it won't stick or grab and it will just glide over top instead of you know, getting snagged and, like I said, rolling over on itself. And after a little torch, it's time to start tilting and working on our composition. I gotta say, I'm loving these handles. I cannot wait to use them on a full-size canvas. They may be game changers. And really, what my goal is at this point is to get all of these uh, pearl paints to the edges, spreading the design out, opening it up, and getting off as much ex excess paint as I possibly can. If you leave too much paint on the canvas, then your paints are uh, likely to crack and ruin your whole painting. And we don't want that to happen. If you notice on some of the edges, as the paint is stretched out over them, you can see some of the pigment colors coming in. I believe I'm seeing some blue and some green. I am so excited. I can't believe how amazing this is turning out. We still have to wait and see what the colors are going to be. This is so fun. As you can see, I tilt it until everything quits moving. I'm pretty sure I have all excess paint off of the canvas. And here I do a quick little happy dance. So excited. Let's take you in for a wet look. Okay, this one will not show its true colors until it's dry. Oh my God, is this gonna be amazing? I cannot wait to see how it turns out. Wow. This is day two, not fully dry yet, but you can definitely see the colors coming in. Surprisingly, I'm noticing some cracking in the middle, but this thing is so beautiful, I don't even care. Are you ready to model it for Nana? Yeah. All right. Show us what you got. Mm, thank you. Let's see. Move it around. Ooh, look at those colors. Yeah. Okay, let's see. See, there's a little bit of cracking in the middle. I think it's because it, it's just too cold it, it's down here. It's right here. A little crack, yeah. But that's okay. I don't think that's bad enough to worry about. Uh, if it bothers me too much, maybe we'll do a little embellishment or something on it. But... No, we on it there. There it is. Look at those oh, amazing no one, colors. No one, right there. No one, right there. Thank you so much for watching. Let's pour with Patty.